Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm bringing you a K7 and Honey Badger Chem Strike on Sovereign. And I start out with a K7, and then I pick up a Honey Badger, and then I end up doing work. And if you guys saw my tweets last night, I had a crazy night, and I am going to tell you guys all about it. So, last night I tweeted that my boyfriend ordered a hooker, and a lot of you guys were confused, and I was upset, and blah blah blah, but it ended up turning out to be a big joke. And don't joke with me, because I'm a pretty gullible person. I believe a lot of things, like especially if you're my friends or I love you a lot or whatever. And I will admit it, that yeah, I am gullible. I believe things, because I have no reason not to. Like my mom and my brother used to try to lie to me all the time, and they'd both be in on it. And I just believed things for a while, like days, weeks, even months, before someone told me, and then it sucked. And I'm like, why do you guys do this to me? So about last night, me and my boyfriend got into a fight. It wasn't anything big. I just got mad at him and I don't want to go into it really. But he ended up leaving me, like walking away and going home. And I was just like, okay, just leave me in the store. But okay. Um, I was like, whatever, I'll talk to him later, I guess. So I texted my friend when I got home since she's back home from spring break and I haven't seen her in a while. So I'm like, hey, let's go. I'm gonna pick you up in a couple minutes or whatever. We're gonna hang out. So me and her go out and I get to her house and my boyfriend texts me like, where are you? I said, I'm going out. He's like, where? I'm like, I'm at my friend's house. He's like, come over right now. I'm like, no, I want to hang out with her since she's on spring break and I don't get to see her until summer. And he's like, you're going to regret this. I'm like, whatever. But I do get worried when people say you're going to regret this because who knows what's up people's sleeves because I don't know. I'd rather not risk it. But um, we end up going to the mall for a little bit and look at puppies and I send him pics of puppies and hopefully it would calm him down because who doesn't like pics of puppies and it was a really cute puppy but after I sent a pic he was like hey I ordered an escort an escort and she's gonna be here at 10 and we're gonna be gone from 10 to 12 or whatever he's like I'm taking her to City Hall and City Hall is my favorite restaurant by the way and if you guys don't know an escort is just a fancy name for a hooker you know like how strippers call themselves dancers I'm pretty sure it's the same thing I group them all is the same thing and he was like she has big tits but he misspelled tits like 10 times you know when you try to spell tits it's like titta tit tots I, I don't know but it ought to correct but it was funny because I was laughing a little bit but anyways I was like prove it and he actually sent me pics of some girls in the site details so I was like what the hell is this and I was getting worried, like, what the hell? Who actually does this? Are you kidding me? Am I really going through this right now? And it did really piss me off. And there was no service at the mall, so we had to walk outside, and my phone was dying. Under 20%, no service. It, it really sucked. And I was trying to look up the site and the details, and every time I'd go to the site, it'd be like, oh, you can't go to, it was like, you need a refresher, timeout, bad timeout. I, I don't know that. You know the error message you get. So me and my friend just got some hard lemonade and went back to her house. And she made me food, and the food was really good. And I almost never drink, but today I wanted to since we had the lemonade and while well, I charged my phone. And that lemonade was actually pretty good. That was the best and only good alcohol I've ever tasted in my life. And yeah, he was probably out with a hooker. He wasn't replying to my text. So an hour later, he texted me. He was like, I'm at Harkins. Pick me up. So I'm like, you and the hooker? Watch the movie? Okay. Why would I pick you up? He's like, I just want, he was just like, pick me up. And I went to go pick him up, and he was outside in the movies with Jamba Juice and a pizza. And he told me he was joking about everything. And no hooker, no nothing. He just got me food and went to movies. So <laughs> I actually didn't believe him at first, and I just yelled at him, and he explained everything. And he had to explain everything for a long time. And that it was all just a joke, and I was like, hey, give me your phone. And I looked through it, and went through his history, and he just Googled Big Tick Hooker. And I saw the pic that he sent me. It was in Google, so I am still mad at him, but no big deal, nothing crazy. It was a good prank, better than anything I could ever do. But yeah, it did suck, but the pizza was good, and the drama juice was better. <laughs> but yeah, that's all for today. Have you guys ever been pranked hard? Comment below and let me know. And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you're new to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.